I got it. You feel like you're saving the earth and whatnot, so that's great. Savers versus Goodwill. I went to Savers in Chicago and I went to Goodwill in Atlanta, so it may differentiate. I think it also depends on the area. I don't even know if Atlanta has a Savers. Let me look it up now, actually. No. Let's get on to seeing what I got from each place and then you can compare. And then also, I will give this disclaimer. I am me, I'm looking for the things that I'm looking for and you are you. So you may find different things, but this is just my experience. So first I got this white button up. It's a Ralph Lauren shirt. It's really not, it doesn't make sense that I don't have a white button up. So I was like, I need to get one ASAP. And so I thought that, saw this one, it's pretty thick. Um, and I know I can wear this in the fall and the winter. A white button up in your wardrobe is essential. First thing, second thing I found was some Levi jeans. They're dark, dark wash. They look like they're in pretty good condition. from Sonoma. I don't have a purse like this. I need a lot more just like throw on purses that I can just toss everything in and go on a daily basis. So I just grabbed this. Next item I found was, I saw this dress and my mom kind of talked me into getting it. I thought it was cute, but then I was also like, mm, what am I gonna wear this to? Is it even necessary for me to get this? But I just ended up getting it. So it's the skirt with these pockets with the, um, it's like a rope design across each edge. So it's here around the neck on this arm as well. Oh, I can dress this up, dress this. I can dress this up. So we'll see. And then I found this dress. I was really drawn to this dress because the pattern of it. This is it. It has this like frilly bottom and the frilly sleeves as well. And so what I plan to do is shorten the sleeve, take in the waist. Oh, but then also the neckline. I kind of want to make that a little tighter, but I'm very excited about that one. And then last but not least, maybe I should keep this one to myself. I don't know. Onesie. I'm pretty sure it ended up being three dollars. Like this is so cute. It's long enough for me, and like why not? So I got already washed it and all that. So and I'm pretty sure this is something you can go to the store and probably get brand new. But I am frugal, I guess. Like I don't really see myself going to the store and buying this. Like I would rather get it for a few dollars rather than spending 20, 30 dollars on something like this. But yeah. Okay, so these are from Goodwill. I actually got these a while ago, but I'm put, I put them in this pile just because I think I'm gonna put them on my Depop. These are some DKNY jeans. They're black. They're like the, I think it's a straight cut. Yeah, it's just a straight cut. They're size eight. Simple, black. Um, they just didn't work for me because my legs are too long. So, I'm gonna have to put them on my Depop. If you're interested in these, you can go ahead and look in my description and the Depop will be in there. And these most likely will be up there already. And then I got a few t-shirts. Let me just tell y'all a sad story before I get into the t-shirts. I saw this shirt in there and the Goodwill didn't have any carts. So I was in there just putting stuff on my hand, on my arm. And uh, I saw this Ari Lennox shirt. It was from, I'm pretty sure her first and only tour from the Shea Butter Baby Tour. And I I guess I must've put it down or something. I'd be thinking like, dang, did somebody snatch? Cause I eventually got a car. I'm like, did somebody take that out of my car? But I don't, <laughs> I don't think they did. But I really don't know. But I, when I was organizing all my stuff, I guess I didn't pick it back up and I left it and it makes me really sad every time I think about it because I really wanted that. 
but whatever. I hope somebody is enjoying that shirt. But anyway, so I got a few Adidas tops um, that I know I'm gonna post on my Depop. They're already on there, actually. So this is an Adidas top. It has Adidas, um, in, well, it's not, it doesn't say Adidas in French. It says the brand with the three stripes, or well, it says with the three stripes, but in French, I believe it says. I think, let me double check. Oh, German, it looks German. I don't even know why I said French. So yeah, it's with the three stripes in French. It's um, coming out of a lighter and then it's like sparking up into the Adidas symbol. And then there's another Adidas top with a woman wearing the two piece Adidas outfit. All right, and then this is the last top. Now this one is actually vintage. I think it's actually from the 80s. Let me double check. Oh, it's from 1991. This, the Diplomat um established 1959 hollywood t this is from the 90s so it is vintage and then we have the little design on the side um and this is like a mauve color like a mauve pinkish but it has like this white shade over it it is probably from like you know washing it but it gives it a a nice vintage look and I, I like that. So this is actually something that is vintage. So this is a Vanity Fair slip dress. It is really cute. It's like a floor length dress. Um, I want to say that was like $10.99, $11.99 or something like that. Um, but again, really cute. Very soft um, material. Yeah, so this is the only vintage item that I found at the goodwill but that was still a great find so then i also found this purse i really have never seen um this brand or this purse but i looked it up while i was in the store and this bag was worth like 300 so i'm like yeah let's grab it so yeah really cute just a simple bag and then i also found this big tote bag this is a tote bag from iman the model so i believe she has like a um a brand with hsn or something like that so she sells these bags but this bag is just big and beautiful to me so i was just like we have to get this because this will be useful for trips or just going to the beach in the summer or anything like that so love that so in my opinion, Savers is going to get you more vintage items and Goodwill will get you more current items. Now I'm not saying that either or won't have both, but what I am saying is that Savers has more vintage and Goodwill has more current stuff because if you think about it, more people, more people donate to Goodwill on a daily basis. And so, you know, even, you know, when people get current items, they will most likely donate it to Goodwill. So that means they'll have more current items. And honestly, they're probably cycling through more clothing because they're getting more as well. So, and I want to exclude the Goodwill bins from the Goodwill franchise just for this reference. Just because, like, I feel like you may find more vintage at the Goodwill bins because you know they're getting more of those items that have been sitting there for longer and that haven't been selling um but yeah as far as savers when i go to savers i'm always finding something vintage they had a lot of vintage leather a lot of vintage jeans jackets um shoes what i saw like a few cowboy boots not in my size unfortunately but a lot of vintage stuff when i was in goodwill they had a bunch of current items a lot of zara a lot of h&m a lot of um, fashion nova a lot of boohoo a lot of those type of brands but you know if you are a person who wants to buy um items that you know are name brand such as those brands then you can definitely go to Goodwill to find those, but you can also find some vintage and timeless pieces as well, like the Ralph Lauren's and the Levi's and Sonoma and um, Wrangler. 
things like that. But overall, I'm just trying to say that regardless of whatever thrift store you go to, I'm sure there will be some vintage. I'm sure there will be some current items. But in my experience, I've seen more vintage in savers and most likely other smaller thrift stores versus Goodwill. So it would be best for anyone to just explore the thrift stores around them because you might end up finding something better than you would at Goodwill. Just a tip, just my advice. Um, But I do thank you for watching. I didn't record an outro, so that's why I'm doing this now. (laughs) But I thank you for watching and I hope to see y'all in the next video.